Hi, welcome back to another video. Today is really exciting for me and I am canning up some lemon juice. Yesterday, I just happened to come across this lady that was selling lemons on the side of the road and I feel like I got a pretty good deal. In my area, there's not a whole lot of opportunity for like buying in bulk items for a good price. Like local stands that you can buy in bulk and the farmer's markets we do have here are really expensive and from my experience people don't give you bulk deals so i was able to just happen to pass on the side of the road a lady selling lemons and i'm really with happy with how they look and um yeah so these are meyer lemons and you can see back there i have a few more ignore the mess in the background but um, I'm gonna be canning these up. I'm gonna be peeling them, kind of like you would peel an orange. I'm gonna try to get as much of the juice out as possible. So I do have a juicer though. So I'm going to peel them like this and then just put them through my juicer to try to really extract all the juice from the pulp. And then um, we're gonna can up the juice. Um, lemons are a very acidic thing and they can be canned by themselves. It's probably one of the easiest things to can I think in my altitude, it only needs to be water bath can for five minutes. Um, I'm gonna double check that, but um, yeah, super easy to can up. If you happen to get bulk lemons or you have a lemon tree and you do this, comment down below, let me know your experience with canning lemons. I'm just really excited for this. And I think, I'm not gonna save all of them, but I think I am going to save the peels and everything. Um, leave me in the comments down below what you think I should do with these. I have some ideas that I want to do with this. Um, maybe dehydrating it or freeze drying it or something. So I don't have a freeze dryer, but my mom does. And so I could freeze dry it. Um, but let me know your ideas for lemon peels. I'm going to save some of these. But these are just really beautiful lemons. Um, and this is, so the two bowls, two bowls that I have together, um, I weighed it and it's 36 pounds of lemons. So yeah, let's get started with peeling all these and then juicing them and then let's can them up. about halfway done with this thing. I had to put gloves on because I have some cuts on my hand and man, my hands are on fire from all the citrus oil. But so far, I've been about doing this for, some of them are really hard to peel and then other ones are really easy to peel. Um, so I'm just gonna keep going here. And I'm gonna stop after this first bowl and juice them and see how many I get. And then I might, hopefully by that time I can get a canner load in. I'm going to save these and freeze these lemon peels for now. I think I'm gonna try and freeze dry them just because freeze drying has a lot fresher of a taste. And then I do like to make, which um, I'll make a video if you guys are interested. Um, and I usually do it with like the lemon peel and the inside of the lemon after I like squeeze one, but I'll um, take it and put stuff a mason jar and put vinegar over it and let it sit for like about 10 days to get like a lemon infused vinegar. And then I actually use it in my laundry and in um, my dishwasher. Um, vinegar helps with um, hard water spots and stuff. So I use it as a replacer for that like jet dry stuff that helps with um, water spots in your dishwasher. And then lemons actually help with whitening. So I put it in my laundry to help with stains and like whitening your like white loads and stuff. So I might, I've never just vinegar soaked the peels before. So we'll try that and see if it works the same. So, 
So I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna start juicing. Okay, so I have my juicer here. I'm gonna be pouring the juice into this pot and we're gonna see how much lemon juice we get. I don't use my juicer a ton, but I keep it because I really like to use my juicer in the summertime when I have like lots of vegetables on hand and stuff. I just do like iced juice drinks. And I wasn't paying attention. Don't do what I did. <laughs> Just made a huge mess. Okay, so I, this is an eight quart pot and I almost, almost got it. It's about an inch and a half from the top. Um, it's pretty foamy when you do it this way, but I think that will all kind of go down. Um, the pulp in here still looks like it has a lot of juice. I wonder if I could rerun it through. I might try that and I'll let you know how it goes. So running it back through was a good idea because I got that much more juice. So honestly, I probably could do it another time, but I'm not going to. So just because I'm on a time limit with my son napping, I'm going to do the rest later, but I'll finish this out and show you on the rest of the video, um, the process, so. That's gotta be the prettiest lemon juice I've ever seen. Looks like, almost like orange juice. So I did scrape a lot of the foam off, but um, there's still some in there, but it's not gonna hurt anything. is cold in here. Everything's coming up to temperature at once, so, so just really make sure you don't put cold jars in a hot canner. I'm not pressure, this is my pressure canner, but I'm not pressure canning them. I'm just water bathing them and I'm just gonna set the lid on there. I'm not gonna seal it or anything. So you want the water about um, half, about an inch over the head of the jars. When it comes to a rolling boil, that's when I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. Um, so a lemon on like the acidity scale is like a, between a two and a three, I think. And um, anything below a 4.6, I believe, is safe to water bath can. Um, I'll leave, leave some links just down below for like the like safe home canning. Um, guidelines and if you look at that scale though lemons should be like one of the safest things you can can honestly but because they're so acidic they're like the lowest um, anything above a 4.6 on that scale is more alkaline and you have to pressure can it I hope I'm saying that right but that's from what I understand that is how that works so I hope if you're a new canner that you will try this um, canning is a lot of work. There's the processing, the, if you're growing it yourself, picking it, you know, whether you buy it in bulk and can it, or you're growing it and canning it, it's a lot of work no matter what. So if you're new to canning and you want to see if you like it, I would just like dip your toes in with water bath canning and see if you even like the process of the time it takes. Half of the lemons I purchased took me about 30 minutes to peel. And then I would say another 30 minutes on top of that for juicing, getting them in my jars, getting them in the canner. So it can take a lot of time, um, but I really enjoy it. The reward is like no other processing your own food. Um, and if you start slow and kind of build your canning stock up over the years, like I have been, I've been married almost nine years and I started canning like a year and a half after I got married. So I've been doing it a while. Um, just, I would say like in the, since I got my pressure canner, like in the last like four or five years, um, that's when I really started getting serious about canning. So it's been a really fun journey and yeah, if you guys would like just more basic canning videos, um, I would love to bring that content out for you guys. If you're wanting to learn, let me know in the comments if you've ever canned, if you're a new canner or if you're just starting to can or if you're a seasoned canner. I would love to know. 
Um, and I would love to get to know you guys in the comments. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching and I'll show you guys the jars as they're coming out. Bye. Okay, so I got my 10, jar, 10 half pints of lemon juice. Next time I do it, I might uh, put it through an additional strainer just to get more of that pulp out, just because there is a nice thick layer on the top. Um, and there was a lot of foam from the juice. I did skim off most of the foam, but I didn't, didn't take the time to do all of it. So that's not a problem. It is still usable and we will still use it. So um, yeah, so I'm really happy with how these turned out.